Hey everyone my name is Abhishek and welcome back to episode 5 of Creative Tuesdays. So in today's video we are going to create this title animation. Let's check it out. This title animation is from a popular Indian TV series called Mirzapur. It is very easy to create and you can use it for any kind of title reveal. So before I begin if you guys are new here then please consider subscribing and make sure to press that bell icon so that you never miss another amazing video like this. Also make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. So with that being said let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right so right now I'm in After Effects and I've already imported a couple of stock footages that I'm going to use in this example. So I will put a link in the description below from where you can download them. So after downloading you can import them in After Effects just like this. And now we will begin by creating a new composition. So go to composition, new comp and let's call this main. Width and height will be 1920 by 1080, frame rate 30 fps and duration you can go with 10 seconds. Just click on okay. So once you have your composition, now we are going to add our text. So select the text tool and you will notice that I'm using this The Godfather font. You are free to use any kind of font you want. It, this technique works with whatever font you want to use. So you can select it and you can type whatever you want. And let me just quickly align this in the center of this composition. And if you are not able to see this align panel, then you can go to windows and from here you can enable it just like this. Let me also quickly center its anchor point. And now I'm going to scale this up just like this now if you want to increase the space between the letters you can double click to select the text and after that you can increase it by using this parameter just like this so now let's go with something like 50 yeah this looks good so just play around with the size and i think this looks good now we are pretty much done with our text so i'm going to select the text just right click then click on pre-compose and i'm going to call this text just click on OK. Now we have our text. Now let's quickly drag our texture, which is this one. And I'm going to change its alpha mat. So if you're not able to see this option, then just simply click over here. And after that, I can change it to alpha mat. And now you can see that now we have our textured text. So let's quickly select both the layers and I'm going to pre-compose this one more time. And let me call this text texture. And after that, I'm going to import the video file that we are going to use. So here we have this ink drop footage that I'm going to use for this example. And first, let me apply an effect called curves. So simply select it and drag it onto this layer. Now I'm going to increase its brightness so that this color is more of a white color. And you can also lower down its contrast just like this. Now it's looking good. So first I'm going to select this layer, then select the pen tool and now I'm going to quickly draw a rough outline around this ink drop. So here I'm going to draw a rough outline just like this and if you want you can play around with it, make it smaller just like this. So now you can see that the ink drop is playing in the mask area so if you can also adjust it. Yeah, so I think this is looking good. So now once we are happy with this, I'm going to select this and we're going to place it somewhere around here. Let me just rotate it by pressing R and now you can just simply move it just like this. Now duplicate it and place it wherever you want to have the blood splatter. And so just rotate it and you can choose whatever position you want. It's completely up to you. So I want one of them here and let me just duplicate it by pressing Ctrl D one more time and I'm going to place one over here just like this. Now you can have any number of these liquid footage and these will represent the blood splatter. So for this example I'm going to stick with these three. So once you're happy with their placement you can just select all the three layers and just right click and just click on pre-compose and we are going to call this ink splatter just click on ok and after that i'm going to go inside this composition and we are going to create a solid so right click new and click on solid 
and after that make sure that you have selected this color then just click on ok i'm going to place this below all these layer just like this so now if i go back here you can see we have this kind of look and i'm going to select the text layer and press ctrl d to duplicate it and first i'm going to hide this one after that you can apply a effect called tint to this text and just simply select it and drag it onto this layer now i'm going to change the map white color to red because we are going to create a blood splatter now it's completely up to you you can choose whatever colors you want so once you're happy with that we are going to change its track mat now if you want you can enable the ink splatter layer so you can see that we have these inks over here now in order to make this visible through the text layer we are going to use the luma mat so in case you are not able to see the track mat option you can just simply click over here and after that i'm going to select the luma inverted just like this so here you can see that now our text is revealing through the ink splatter which is exactly what we want so you can play around with this and you can probably take this ink splatter and just move it a little bit ahead so that it starts just like this so here you can see we have created this animation and the good thing about this is you can use any type of text you want so let's say if you want to change the text right now you can just go to the text comp and you can select the layer and you can type whatever text you want and let me just quickly change the scale of it or maybe just reduce the character distance and now if i go back so now you can see that it has this really nice effect now again if you want to add more of these ink splatters then you can just simply go to this composition and you can press ctrl d to duplicate any one of them you can also play around with its scale just like this and you can just position it somewhere like this and now you can see that we have added a little spot over here and in the same way you can edit it and have different type of looks so this is how you can create this liquid splatter kind of title animation so the project file for this tutorial are available on patreon so if you are supporting me over there then you can download it from there and if you are not then you might consider it because once you join my patreon you will get access to all the tutorial files and also there are some exclusive template files which are available only on patreon so make sure to check out my patreon link is in the description below also if you want to learn more things like this then make sure to subscribe and don't forget to press that bell icon so that you never miss another video like this so with that being said my name is abhishek and i'll see you in the next one